Uh, right. We now move on to the last question uh, for the session today, and that is from uh, Assembly Member Russell on surface water flooding. Uh, 235,000 uh, properties in London are at significant risk of surface water flooding. Through the London Environment Strategy and our Green New Deal Recovery Mission, we're working to reduce the risk of surface water flooding to make the capital more climate resilient and protect vulnerable Londoners. This includes tackling urban uh, water management, improving green spaces, adapting the built environment and raising awareness through events like London Flood Awareness Week. Urban areas like London receive less government funding to tackle flooding. By working with six pilot boroughs to quantify the benefits of small schemes, uh, our officers have helped to secure £1 million of new funding for sustainable drainage schemes, paving the way for the approach to be rolled out across London. My Greener City and Grow Back Greener funds have contributed over £13 million pounds since 2016 to green infrastructure projects that help London adapt to climate change, of which £1.8 million pounds, uh, supports over 40 projects uh, around surface water flood risk. Our officers have produced guidance on how to prepare for climate change and flooding for schools and early year settings, social housing, hospitals, commercial and retail buildings, parks and green spaces, as well as providing training to over 200 highway officers on the benefits of sustainable drainage systems. My unit and plan is reducing surface water flood risk with uh, every new development uh, and over further yeah. applications. Sorry, the Labour group is out of time. This is a question. This is green, this is green time. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I was. Please, Mr. Distracted. Mayor, continue and finish. This is, but but I want my time back. You will have your time back. No problem at all. No, sorry, fine. I was distracted working from home. One of these uh, problems you have. Uh -huh. uh, my apology. Carry on, Mr. Mayor. Let me just send uh, Caroline. We're just saying integrated water management plans in our housing growth areas are also setting out sustainable strategies for reducing water demand and managing service water flood risk. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, and I'm particularly concerned about the overwhelming of drainage systems by rain, and that's um, especially the runoff from roads. And I think, you know, we need a greater sense of urgency on the issue of climate adaptation. I had a report out in summer 2019, London's warming, which highlighted the risks to London tube stations, with 23 stations at significant risk of flooding from extreme rainfall. So my question is, sustainable drainage systems, or SUDs, are a solution to this problem. In your transport strategy, you have a target to drain 50,000 square metres of surface area on and around roads each year into SUDs, rather than into conventional drains and sewers. Now, you've only reported London's progress over one year, which was 2019-20, and that reported 28,000 square metres against a 50,000 target. And that was all from London boroughs, and that was just about half your target. So is that 28,000 square metres all that you've achieved? No, there's a lot more we've achieved, and it's worth reminding ourselves that actually uh, local authorities are responsible for um, uh, the local flood of the, they're considered the lead local flood authority, but they've got responsibility over their roads, whereas we have responsibility over uh, our, our roads, the TFL roads uh, as well. So we're working closely with the highways authorities in relation to addressing this issue, and working also with uh, Thames Water. An example of the difference we're making, I'll give you a concrete example of a specific scheme, uh, or Old Street. Around Old Street, our scheme, we're using permeable paving, rain gardens and a green roof. And so you will see more progress, Caroline, going forward in relation to our policies being brought into effect, because you're right, this issue ain't going away. And the more mm -hmm. urbanisation we get, if we're not careful, we've seen this over the last few days and weeks, with rainwater, uh, we can have increased amounts of, um, uh, of uh, water from the surface running off to our stretch sewers. Mr Mayor, it's your target, and you're not yet meeting it. Good to hear about Old Street, and I'm really looking forward to going to have a look at it. Now, another uh, location in Islington is um, the new pedestrianised area at Highby Corner, where there's a large water tank um, underneath. But this doesn't seem to be proper sustainable drainage. It's a big tank under the pavement, but judging by the consistent puddles on the surface, it seems to fill rather faster than the nearby trees want to drink from it. So I'm hearing that sustainable drainage systems get value engineered out from schemes during the design and construction process within TFL. Would you 
um, do you think a simple commitment from you that every major TfL scheme should have sustainable drainage systems, remove that, would that remove that risk and help you to meet your target? Well, well, we've got, for the first time ever, in the London plan when it's finally approved, uh, a prioritisation in relation to uh, uh, green over grey drainage measures. But for the first time ever, we have a sustainable drainage policy, which wasn't there before. And this is a quite clear hierarchy for developers to follow with the greenest, most sustainable nature-based, like you said, water going to trees, approaches to manage surface water at the top of the hierarchy. And it's really important that local councils exert the pressure on developers to follow our uh, guidance. You'll be where only the big schemes come to us or the schemes on our, on our roads. But you're right uh, that councils must make sure that developers are following the um, policies we've set out. Mr Mayor, it is absolutely about councils and developers, but it is also about you. And with TfL, you've got the, the levers, you've got the control. And I think you can show a leadership role here, and particularly if there's good training for TfL officers of the importance um, that sustainable drainage systems um, hold um, for, for our city. Um, but I am now out of time, so thank you. Thank you for raising this important issue.